Right, so hello everybody. My name is Jutta Schönhaar and I'm heading the Extreme Distribution. Today we have our first webinar in a series to prepare the BVE show in London by end of this month. Um, today I have Orion with me who will give you a deeper insight into the Woody products and the technology Woody is offering today and then he will give also some insights in the highlights of the this year BBE show. Just to give you a quick idea what we will show on BBE this year is a portfolio of different uh, product partners which are part of the Extreme family and you could see the Woody logo very present in the middle. Today you have me and Aurelien and I'm happy to give the word over to Aurelien to give you an insight in Woody Technologies products. Aurelien, are you ready to go? I am ready. Thank you, Yuta. Hello, everyone. And um, thank you very much for joining today for uh, this uh, webinar. Uh, as uh, Yuta just said, we will have a quick overview of the Woody products and uh, also have some uh, words about the highlights for this uh, BV show coming um, in a few weeks uh, in London. Um, during this webinar, uh, you will be able to ask some questions through the chat box. So don't hesitate if you have any questions during my uh, presentation. And uh, at the end, we will be happy to uh, uh, give you the the answers um, that we that we can provide about um, all the products and all the features that we will show at uh, uh, at BVE. Um, first, for those who don't know yet, uh, Woody Technologies as a as a company, um, a quick uh, company overview. Um, Woody Technologies is uh, belonging to a group with uh, 15 years of experience. Um, in broadcast and, and post-production workflows. Uh, we provide the software solutions to the major players uh, of the industry in many countries. Um, our solutions are focused on media and metadata processing. Uh, we are mainly dealing with uh, ingest and outgest workflows. So um, making content available in a, a post-production environment or getting content out of the post-production environment for uh, publishing and uh, distribution. Um, we are really focused on the needs expressed by our customers and uh, our users. Um, so we are completely driven by the feedbacks uh, you and our you you and our customers give, give us um, um, to to develop this or this feature or this or or, or this product. Um, last word about uh, our state of mind. We we try to provide very um, easy to use, easy to install, and easy to maintain solutions. Uh, so this is really our focus. Uh, we are dealing with complex technology, but we want to keep it uh, very simple for the users and for the, the administrators. Um, sorry. Um, of course, we are not working alone in this um, uh, in this industry. We are partnering with uh, many other players and companies. Uh, as you can see here, we are um, partnering with um, uh, media asset management vendors, um, uh, camera vendors, uh, storage vendors. Um, unfortunately, not all our partners are presented here, but you have an, a rough idea of. Uh, uh, who we are uh, innovating with, and uh, it, it's really, really important to us. Um, quick word about our customers. Um, our customers are mainly um, uh, broadcasters of any kind, of any size, um, and um, also uh, post-production companies and post-production facilities, um, which is a, a growing part of our customer base. Uh, we are present now in um, around 20 countries uh, represented in um, Europe and Middle East by extreme distribution. Um, and we also have a, a, an office in uh, Los Angeles with um, sales and support team there to cover uh, North and, and Latin America and also to offer extended support hours. Um, 
Just a quick reminder, if you don't know it already, about the product line at, of Woody Technologies. We have uh, Woody Intuit, uh, which is our flagship product dedicated to ingest from cameras and any shooting device. Uh, Woody Ingest for automated transcoding and ingest workflows. Woody Social for ingest of content coming from social networks, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Um, and Woody Outgest, which is a bit uh, um, specific to Avid users and to um, Avid customers who need to uh, transfer content from their Avid environment to the web, the playout, or, or to the archive. Uh, we also um, have a third-party product named Chariot. It's a tight integration between uh, technology provided by Automated, which is uh, one of our uh, strong partners, and um, and Woody Technologies. And the um, um, in the goal of this product is to um, provide a, a tight integration between the Adobe Creative tools like After Effects and Photoshop, and Avid environments. Of course, Sherid can also integrate with other media asset management solution. Um, we will talk about it uh, later. And then we do some custom developments and, and um, custom integrations for our customers, um, or customization on our products or completely specific projects depending on the on the requests. Um, so this is about the, the product line. Now, what is new in 2019 uh, for Woody Technologies and what will be shown at uh, BVE in London in a few weeks? Um, the first thing that we will see today is the new versions that we have for Woody Intuit, for local and remote ingest, and for also for centralized ingest. So Woody Intuit is changing. Um, is um, We have created new variants, and I, I will give you an idea of these different versions that we are going to propose at PVE. Uh, we also have a new media player coming in the Woody apps with new capabilities. Um, and very nice feature. Um, we have new transcoding features coming in Woody Ingest and Woody Outgest, and uh, Woody Social, which is very popular at this moment for ingest from social networks, um, will also be available in the cloud. So we offer now cloud deployments for Woody Social, which makes it very, very easy to start with and uh, uh, to integrate in your in your workflow and the last thing is about all the woody products we are we have rebuilt our architecture it was already presented at ibc in amsterdam in uh, um, september last year um, we have um, um, reformed this architect architecture to to bring scalability and redundancy for all the the woody workflows so this is a bit what i will um, show you now not everything is um, available already, but um, I invite you to come to the booth at uh, BVE to, to know more. Um, I will start first with um, a quick reminder about the Woody architecture in general, the technical architecture. All the Woody apps are based on the same Woody engine, which is doing all the media and metadata processing tasks. On top of this engine, we have our API, um, which allows or user interfaces or the third-party user interfaces to connect and to trigger um, jobs and tasks. And on the other side, we have all the integrations with the um, systems used by our customers, media asset management, transfer, acceleration, file systems, uh, cloud storage providers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so what do you intuit? Um, as I, I explained to you, we have new versions of Woody Intuit that are coming, but uh, for those who don't know already Woody Intuit, what is it? Uh, Woody Intuit is a, a very intuitive tool that allows any user, journalist, editor, um, ingest operator to browse, select, and ingest any kind of source media to a production environment. The challenge of Woody Intuit is to be really easy to use, so it can be used by non-technical users, but at the same time, it has to offer a very strong workflow control, making sure that the material will come to the production environment at the good format, at the good place, and with the good name. So this is the purpose of, uh, of Woody Intuit. Um, Woody Intuit integrates with many media asset management or storage solutions from the market. 
and is also compatible with uh, many different uh, sources. So of course, its first use is for ingest of uh, Sony, Panasonic, Canon camera cards, but um, it's supporting much more than that and can be used also to ingest content from GoPro, drones, or any graphic video or audio file. Um, I will show you in a minute the user interface of Fully Intuit and how it works if you uh, don't know it already. But first, let me explain you the different versions that we have for Woody Intuit. Um, the, the one in the middle on this slide, which is the uh, legacy Woody Intuit, the one you already know, uh, uh, still exists and is adapted to the model where you need a dedicated ingest workstation. It means that you will connect all your devices to the workstation and um, um, all the media processing will be done locally and uh, the resulting media and metadata will be published to your central storage or to end to your uh, media asset management system. So this is the, the, the most used deployment of Fully Intuit uh, until now. Um, but now we have new versions coming for uh, Woody Intuit. Uh, the first one on the left here is uh, Woody Intuit Go. Um, Woody Intuit Go replaces a, um, an old product uh, from Woody Technologies, which was named uh, Code Reporter. And um, the, the purpose of Woody Intuit Go is to offer um, to the reporters uh, being on the field with their laptop a very intuitive tool to select the content, um, encode it to the expected target format and transfer it over various protocols to the main facility or to um, the, the correspondent that they are producing for. Um, so Woody Intuit Go can be easily deployed on, on laptops, um, can be used to um, uh, browse and index the, the content, which can be uh, raw footage or uh, edited, edited stories and to transfer it over various protocols, FTP, Aspera, File Catalyst, um, to a remote site. Um, so Woody Intuit Go is uh, the answer for all the remote ingest um, done from the field by field reporters. Um, then we have uh, the other new version, which is displayed on the right here, um, which is Woody Intuit Server, which can be combined with uh, Woody Intuit Essentials. The purpose of uh, Woody Intuit Server is to offer a centralized uh, ingest system um, which will process all the media coming into the production environment. Um, the Woody Intuit Server can be used through a web client, I will show you in a minute, or it can be um, fed by Woody Intuit Essentials. Woody Intuit Essentials is a light client that you can deploy um, on uh, your client stations. Um, which will be used to browse, select, and push the content to the central uh, server farm. So um, this is uh, what Woody Intuit Server and uh, Woody Intuit uh, Essentials are made for, centralized ingest infrastructure. Uh, so as, as you can see here, depending on your use case, um, um, one or um, multiple of these solutions uh, can be useful for you. Um, but let me show you a bit the user interface of uh, Woody Intuit and what has changed in this user interface, as I mentioned before. So I will now switch to my Woody Intuit and I will even go to my Woody Intuit server installation. Um, it means that uh, Woody Intuit is not running on my local station, it's running on a distant server and I will remotely access this user interface. What you can see here is that the first thing I must do is to log on to the user interface. Um, we have a complete users management layer, which can also be connected to your um, Active Directory system. And uh, thanks to this users management layer, we can filter what can be done uh, by the users that you have uh, registered in your in your system. So. I'm logging in to the to the system, and here I come in the um, in the web user interface of uh, Woody Intuit. Um, as you can see here, I am not running anything on my client. It's just Google Chrome, and I am accessing remotely the server 
where Woody Intuit is running. This is very new and this is the new architecture uh, that we are offering with uh, uh, Woody Intuit server. Um, when you are connected to the server, um, you can browse uh, the content which is visible by the server. So all the cards, the footage has to be visible by, uh, uh, by the server. Um, the browser is still the same. You um, can go through your file system and um, you can scan the content of the file system to identify all the media structures that can be uh, ingested by Woody into it. So as you can see here, uh, we have some XDCAM, some P2, some Canon, uh, but also some 5D content. Uh, we should have some GoPro somewhere. And um, we also have just a media folder. So what we name media folder is just video, audio, graphic files in a folder without a particular structure. So um, thanks to Woody Intuit server, you can access remotely to this content and uh, you can open it um, in, the, uh, in the user interface. Um, and of course you can open different kind of cards at, at the same time. This is here that you will be able to prepare uh, your ingest and to start it. Um, what has changed in the Woody Intuit user interface is that we still have a player available here, uh, but this player is now different as it's not reading directly the high resolution from the source media because the source media is only visible by my Woody Intuit server. It's not visible by my client directly. But this player is generating a preview on the fly for my Woody Intuit uh, client. And of course, we can connect several clients to one Woody Intuit server. So it's a very secure way also to manage the footage because there is no direct access to the footage from the client in this uh, uh, configuration. What has also changed um, with the Woody Intuit player is that now we have audio view meter available directly in the user interface and showing the content of the audio tracks. And you can also select which audio tracks you want to uh, mute or to, uh, or to listen to give you a better control on the, on the footage. Uh, the last thing that comes with this new version of the player um, and of the user interface is the management of locators. Locators are time-coded markers that you can put on your footage and that can be transported as metadata with the media that you will ingest to your uh, production environment. So you can have different kind of locators. Um, you can choose a color for the locator, uh, which time code it will be placed, and uh, then you can add some name and description uh, uh, to, to, your, to your locator, which is saved as metadata on the clip. And of course, you can reopen uh, later and modify these, uh, uh, these locators. So these are the new features of Foodie Intuit user interface. A new player, audio control, locators, and uh, most important, the video preview, which is generated on the fly by the server on the source media. Uh, just a word to say that this player um, is also available for all the uh, variants of Woody Intuit. So it's the same for Woody Intuit Go, Woody Intuit Standalone Edition, and for Woody Intuit Server. Uh, just a quick look back to the presentation and to the different versions of Woody Intuit that we are uh, introducing. Oh, sorry. Started again from the beginning. So um, just a quick reminder uh, of the various use cases uh, that can be handled by these different versions. The first use case is the, the standard one. You have ingest workstations. They are used by journalists or by operators, and they are directly connected to your production system. Here we have an Avid system in, in the example, but of course, we can also connect to other media asset management or production asset management systems such as TDL, Dalet, um, uh, Cantemo, or many others. Uh, 
So this is the first case where you want to connect the source media or the current reader directly to the Woody Intuit station and do the ingest to the production environment. This is Woody Intuit. Uh, Woody Intuit server, which um, I've just shown you, is um, when you want only to operate through a web browser. Um, in this case, the user interface is um, served by the by the servers, and the media must be visible by the servers. So it can be the, the cards reader directly connected to the server, or it can be just a NAS storage where you have put the footage um, uh, in the first place, and um, that is accessed later for ingest to the production environment. Uh, then we have the configuration with Woody Intuit Essentials, which is a mix of the two uh, precedent previous configurations. So Woody Intuit Essentials in this case is used because you want to have your media connected to your clients, so cards, reader, hard drives connected to your clients, but you want the media processing to be done centrally by the server. So what Woody Intuit Essentials will do in this case is just allowing you to preview and select the content and then push the job and the media to the Woody Intuit server where it will be processed with the metadata to the production environment. The last use case that we have is Woody Intuit Go. In this case, Woody Intuit is deployed on laptops on the fields. Um, of course, the, the content is directly um, managed locally on the laptop. It can be transmitted as raw footage uh, or with encoding to go over internet network. And media plus metadata are transmitted to the broadcaster facility over one of the available protocols, including FTP, Aspera, and uh, File Catalyst plus some others. Um, to manage all these Woody Intuit Go stations that can be on dozens of laptops around the world. Uh, we will release uh, in Q2 a Woody configuration service that will allow you to do uh, a central configuration and central management of all your Woody Intuit Go stations, meaning that you will be able to configure once the uh, trans, uh, transfer parameters and encoding parameters and that they will be um, automatically um, copied uh, on the Woody Intuit Go stations when Woody Intuit uh, Go is started on, on these stations. And on the other way, you will get back all the notifications and monitoring of what has been transferred uh, on the Woody configuration service, which will allow the administrators to monitor uh, the, um, the traffic and uh, all the jobs that are done by the Woody Intuit Go uh, stations. So this is a big, big change in the Woody product line. And now we can say that we are covering um, all the use cases uh, for local and remote ingest and also for centralized uh, ingest solution. So if you want to know more about Woody Intuit and how it works, um, I invite you to join us at BV on the, on the stand and to get a, a full demo. Of course, in all these Woody Intuit versions, we still have all the features that made the success of Woody Intuit, um, including the mandatory fields uh, that you can ask the users to fill before uh, an ingest. Uh, I will show you in a second on my local Woody Intuit, which is also running on my station. Um, of course, we still have all the profiles management, so you can create as many profiles as you want to address various destinations. Um, the profiles can be filtered depending on who is using Woody Intuit at the moment. So uh, you can make sure that if you have several productions or several customers, if you are a post-production facility uh, using the same Woody Intuit system, each one can see only the profiles uh, he is allowed to uh, to use. So you can have many profiles. Depending on the profile, you have the mandatory fields that you can ask the users to fill uh, to um, make sure that all the content is identified when it comes to the production environment. Uh, so all of this is unchanged. Naming rules, folder creation rules, all the workflow rules apply here. And when you click, click on the process button, the transcoding or the rewrap or the copy is triggered and the media is 
uh, processed with the metadata uh, to the right place at the right format. Um, so this this is uh, the new features that we have of uh, Woody Intuit. Uh, now let me talk to you about uh, uh, Woody Ingest and uh, uh, Woody Outgest because we have also some new features for these products. Ah, sorry, I can't find my mouse anymore. Where is it? Okay, it is lost somewhere. Here. Um, so uh, for Woody Ingest and Woody Outgest, um, which are the tools that we have for all the automated workflows based on uh, watch folders, so processing of media and metadata triggered by watch folder or uh, through API. We also offer API control for all these tools. Um, the new features these, that we have are related to the transcoding and the output formats. So previously, until now, we had only MXF OP1A and MXF op Atom as output format. Now we are introducing new output formats for these tools, which are uh, QuickTime Movie Wrapper and MP4 Wrapper. So you can produce new custom um, um, formats and wrapper as output and deliver them over the protocols that are uh, offered in the in the Woody tools, including all the transfer acceleration technologies, all the cloud storage uh, providers delivery as well, or of course the media asset management integrations that we have mentioned for uh, Woody into it. Um, so new formats as output is is, is something coming. Uh, second thing that we have is the ability to burn in uh, logo during the processing. So this is a request that we had from customers who want to send footage to a partner or uh, to a customer and uh, they want the, the, the content to be watermarked. So now if you go to the uh, Woody Profiles configuration, you are able to um, configure uh, some logo burning uh, during the transcoding. And uh, you can define some settings for this burning. So if you want it to be applied on the entire video, or if you want to define some offsets from the start and the end of the uh, of the video. So it's also something that can be very useful for uh, for some workflows. Of course, all the um, features that we already had for the delivery, for the watch folders is still present um, in Woody Ingest and in uh, Woody Outgest for all the automated workflows. And um, if you want to know more, again, don't hesitate to ask us um, and uh, we can provide all details and also trial licenses of uh, these products uh, very easily. Um, the other big new features that we will introduce at uh, BVE um, and uh, which is already available actually is for Woody Social. So Woody Social is the tool that we made for uh, the journalists and the editors who need to deal with content coming from social media. Now, when an event happens, the first media available is posted on social networks like Instagram, Twitter, uh, by um, anyone who is on the uh, in the streets and hap and seeing what ha what is happening. So um, we identified the need to um, uh, easily get this content available for editing or directly for uh, for on air. So. This is why we created Woody Social, which is a very intuitive tool to get content ingested from a various social network. Let me show you quickly how it works. Um, the idea is to connect to um, the Woody Social web interface. And what is new here is that we can host for you this Woody Social in the cloud. So you don't need to install anything in your facility if you don't want to. You don't need to deal with all the security constraints and questions uh, from your IT department, we can host this in the cloud and do everything for you. So in this case, what you have to do is just to log into the cloud service. Oh, it will be easier if I use the right password. Here it is. And here you find the uh, user interface of Woody Social, which can be used in two ways. The first way is to directly search 
uh, in Woody Social from the user interface. So uh, you can use um, the training topics from Twitter, for example, or you can directly type your query here um, in the search field. Um, we have some advanced search filters which allow you to search the most recent, the most relevant, or the most popular contents. And um, you can also filter the results by uh, geolocation, uh, publishing date, or some other uh, criteria. Um, when um, you get the result of your search, what is good is that you can directly preview them uh, photo, videos in the user interface. You don't need to open multiple browser tabs um, to preview your content. And the content that you actually want to ingest, you can directly just drag and drop the photos and the videos on the left. Of course, you can do this from various sources. Here, I'm also switching to the YouTube results. And uh, I can also drag and drop my results in the left to build my shopping list, shopping carts of all the videos and the photos that they want to be ingested in my production environment. Um, this is the first way of getting content ingested and of uh, building a selection. But what can also happen is that you know that uh, um, some photos or videos have been published on Instagram on, or Facebook or other websites and someone is asking you to get this content available in the production environment. In this case, you don't need to search through a, a Woody social user interface because you already know what you want. So what you can do in this case is just copy and paste the URL of the content that you want to ingest. If I want this video to be ingested in my production environment, I will just copy the URL and paste it in Woody social so it can be analyzed and added to my shopping list. So this is a very smooth way to get the content uh, ingested from the social networks. Uh, the same for Facebook. I want this video to be ingested from Facebook. I can just uh, display the URL of the video and paste it on my Woody social user interface. So now my shopping list is ready, but ingest is not done yet. What you can do now is um, choose a profile. We can have various profiles depending on the destinations. And uh, if you have different workflows, we can build several profiles. And then when you click on process, the content is downloaded in the best available resolution. It's transcoded to your house format, post-production format, and it will be delivered uh, over the network, over the various protocols that we have to your production environment. So we can design together the best way to retrieve the content in um, your production environment. And we can provide also the tools on the facility side to, to get this down. All the media and also the metadata are preserved. So you can also have rich content uh, coming in your production environment. And you can control this workflow. So it avoids having thousands of YouTube videos coming in the system with no control of the workflow. It's very easy and can be used by anyone, including the journalists themselves. Um, so this is Woody Social. And now the cloud hosting is available for Woody Social. So if you want more details about that, just um, ask us and, and uh, we can provide all the information about these uh, new possibilities for, for Woody Social. Uh, a last word of um, what we uh, are showing this year at uh, BV. We have a collaboration with uh, uh, a partner, Automated, I mentioned it before, um, to easily integrate the Adobe Creative Apps with the Avid environment, so Avid Media Central Production Management environment. This tool, Share It, allows you to easily publish content from After Effects or Photoshop to your Avid environment, and also in the other way to get content extract content from the production environment and work on it in your project, in your Adobe project. Um, so it's a, it's a very nice tool and um, um, we will be really happy to make you a demo at the PVE or before if you want. Just get in touch with us and um, uh, we will organize that. Uh, so uh, Utah, this is uh, 
this is the quick overview I wanted to give. Um, I, I wanted to give today about what we are bringing in 2019, especially at BVE uh, and of course uh, later at NAB um, in Las Vegas. So uh, now, if there are questions, I'm fully available to answer. Yes, thank you, Aurélien, for the overview. We got some questions. Um, I will start from the top. Um, can you please elaborate on the pricing model of the existing and the new tools? Uh, yes, sure. So uh, uh, there are indeed some changes uh, uh, about the, the, the pricing um, related to the new versions coming. Um, for Woody Intuit, it depends on the model. So we have a um, um, per machine model for Woody Intuit standalone or Woody Intuit server uh, versions, but we have also a per user model uh, uh, with uh, uh, the Woody, for Woody Intuit Go, sorry, um, and also for Woody Intuit server if you want to use only the, the web client. So uh, depending on the need, depending on the project, we are quite flexible on the licensing model and we can offer uh, various uh, licensing models. Uh, for Woody Ingest and Woody Outgest, now it's um, um, still a per server uh, model. So you have one Woody Ingest server, you need one license. You have two, you need two, uh, quite easy. And for Woody Social, uh, it's only per user. So it depends on the number of concurrent users that you want to uh, have uh, accessing the Woody Social uh, user interface. And of course, the pricing is a bit different uh, depending on um, if you are on premise or if you run Woody Social uh, in the in the cloud. Um, all the products and all the solutions we bring are available uh, with permanent licensing and also with uh, subscription models. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the next question is going in somehow the same direction. Um, how would upgrading from Woody into it to Woody into its server work? So for the existing customers uh, of uh, Woody into it, we will be proposing the upgrade quite soon. We are uh, still finalizing the the first release of uh, Woody into its server. Um, so uh, depending on uh, the on the case, on the current, on the existing um, uh, licenses, we will propose a scenario to upgrade. Uh, to Woody Intuit Server and uh, eventually to Woody Intuit Server plus Woody Intuit Essentials if there is a need to have also uh, uh, these like clients running on the on on the on the client side. And an additional add-on from me: What is if I buy today a Woody Intuit and then like to upgrade later on? Yeah, that's that's completely the way. Just 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 to explain you. Um, the code that we have behind is the same. It's it's based on the same uh, uh, on the same development. So it means that um, the, the license can be easily upgraded. You don't need to reinstall all your system. Okay. So another question in the Woody into its server direction: How many file machines can I connect to one Woody into its server? So um, how many? Sorry, how many? How many machines? Oh, it, it depends on the type of client. Uh, so um, what uh, we have is that you can have one Woody Intuit server or we can build a farm across uh, multiple servers. Um, so um, depending on the number of Woody Intuit servers that you have, uh, you can have more or less clients connected to them. So it's a bit different if it's a web clients or if it's essentials client because the web client is requiring also the um, on-the-fly preview generation, so it's taking some resources uh, on on the server side. Uh, if you are going with Woody Intuit Essentials, it's um, uh, somehow um, unlimited. What uh, will bring the limitation is the number of simultaneous streams that you can have on the Woody Intuit server, which is highly related to your hardware. The um, there is no limitation in the number of uh, streams that comes with the license. Uh, the limitation will come with the hardware or with the or with the network capabilities of the of the server. Mm -hmm. 
Then one question to Woody Social. Yes. Does Woody Social download metadata like text from social media as well? And how is this forwarded to my newsroom system? So now uh, Woody Social is uh, actually getting the metadata uh, related to a video or to a photo that is posted on, on social network. Uh, we are working with um, some of our customers uh, on a feature to also uh, download the text only post, for example, a tweet with no photo, no video, but only text. And in this case, it's uh, really easy for us to forward this metadata to uh, a newsroom system, to a media asset management system. We have already um, uh, integrated our tools uh, with Avid iNews, for example, for, for the newsroom. Uh, we have uh, already um, uh, existing integrations with Dalet as well. So it's super easy to transfer all the metadata that we uh, gather from the social networks to a newsroom or a media asset management system. Okay. And one question in the other direction. Can I use Woody Outchest for publishing to YouTube and Facebook? Uh, it's not available yet, the direct publishing in Woody Outchest, but it's uh, part of our roadmap for 2019. Unfortunately, not for this first months of the year uh, because we have already a lot of work to do, but uh, it's definitely on the, on the roadmap to have this available in Woody Outchest. Okay. Then one last question. Do you have a product that helps me connecting my archive to Avid Interplay? Pam. Sure. Uh, that, that's already what we do with uh, Woody Ingest uh, for many customers who are uh, handling uh, all the restore uh, from the archive to interplay through through the ingest. So uh, if you have such a project, just drop an email and uh, uh, we'll discuss about the solution we can offer you. Great. That was everything about the questions. Super. So I think we are done for today. And i like to thank you for helping me with the webinar and the presentation. No problem. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you to, for everyone to join joining the, the webinar today. Yeah. Thank you for all participants. We will um, publish the webinar later on on our YouTube channel. Then you can get a better impression uh, again. And for everybody who is not joining us on BBE, we are open to do a personal demo at every time, either remote or on site. Just let us know the same as Orion already mentioned. We can do trial licenses for you for all the Woody products at any time. Then I'd like to say thank you to everybody and wish you a very nice evening today. Thank you. Bye-bye.